Hello everyone, welcome back to Technocharts YouTube channel and in, in today's video, I'll talk, talk about how to trade breakouts effectively, how to avoid big losses in breakout failures and what to look before entering into a breakout. So let us understand what is a breakout first of all. Whenever a stock moves out of a support or a resistance area, then that is known as a breakout. For example, in this case, when we draw the support and resistance and if the stock breaks the resistance area, then this area is known as a breakout region and whenever the stock pull backs to the uh, resistance area which should now act as a support area then that is known as a retest area. So these are the two terminology that we are going to use and similarly whenever a stock breaks the support area then that is known as a breakdown and it uh, retests the uh, support area and then that is known as a pullback or a retest before continuing the further journey. Now let us go through uh, the charts that we are going to see before understanding how to trade the breakouts effectively. What to look before entering a breakout? Look for volume spikes on uh, up days and look for volume down on down days. Simply whenever a stock is trying to bull pack, there should be a dry volume. This is a sign of accumulation by bigger sharks as they have to buy in huge quantities. Uh, so they buy in uh, parts to avoid price spikes. For example, in this case, Chumbal Fertilizer, we can see that the volume bars in this case are very huge. This is a sign of accumulation and you should always look for such type of stocks before entering into trade where the signs of accumulations are clear and uh, the breakout should always happen on bigger volumes compared to the old, uh, past volume. One can use the moving average line on the volume to understand what is the volume analysis behind the chart. So, Whenever a breakout is happening, the volume bar or the green bar should be always bigger than the orange line or the 50 day uh, moving average of the volume bar. Okay, so let us now go through a different chart in example, for example, in case of a man infra, we can see that the, the signs of accumulations are clear in this chart. Whenever a breakout is happening, the price is trying to move up with a bigger volume and whenever the price is pulling back in this case, uh, the volume is also drying up in the lower side. So uh, this is a typical structure that you should be looking for before entering into a particular stock. Let us now understand how to trade breakout effectively and avoid bigger losses whenever a breakout failure has happened. Uh, mark the support and resistance in the chart and always try to buy nearest to the resistance area whenever a stock is trying to break out. For example, in, in our case, the Praj industry, the area of resistance was at around 408 rupees or 400 rupees. So one should not buy the stock more than 4% of its resistance area to avoid a uh, bigger uh, stop loss. So in this case, if the uh, resistance area is at around 400 rupees, so one should have a maximum entry around 420 rupees. Uh, okay, so this is the first rule that you have to follow. Uh, during the breakout, you should not buy more than 50% of the quantity on the first entry and always try to enter the rest of the 30% quantity in the retest area. So this is a perfect uh, type of strategy that you can use while entering into breakout because most of the time a breakout that is happening will also have a retest on the past resistance area. So similarly, if we look at the chart of Deepak fertilizer, we can see that the uh, resistance area was at around 500 rupees. So 500 is the breakout region. Hence, one should buy the stock maximum at 515 to 520 rupees. Entering 50% on the breakout is an advisable uh, uh, thing so that you are not having bigger losses whenever the stock is pulling back harshly due to weaker market condition and entering the rest 30% on the retest area so that once a retest is confirmed, you can further add the rest 20% in the further uptrend journey. One should definitely add the rest of the 30% quantity whenever the stock price is pulling back to the older resistance area. So similarly in this case, in case of clean science, we can see that the stock has broken out on huge volumes and again pulled back to the resistance area where it took a confirmation candle made us support and then reversed and made again a new high. So whenever a stock is moving in a similar fashion, one should try to take an entry in an uptrend and rather not an average down in the uh, pullback. Okay. So if the retest is happening for more than one time, that means that the stock is not having a strength to move up. So the second retest is a sign of a weaker sign and hence 
you should not add in this scenario because if the stock is not able to move up then what is the point of adding right so in case of clean science this is not a uh, place to add more and rather be cautious because uh, recent selling volume bars are bigger and a sign of concern so in case of kims also we can see the, that the stock is trading multiple times near the resistance area which has now become a support so stock has broken out of a huge volumes then all taking support multiple times so this is a uh, concern thing because the uh, price is not able to move up on the higher side so now let us understand what should be the stop loss and target into the further trades one may have a doubt whether retest fail or not definitely no strategy is uh, foolproof and has a 100% win ratio for example in radhiko khaitan there was a clear sign of breakout failure even though the volumes were supporting even though the stock was trading in a range from a bigger period of time and has finally broken out so once you add 50% on the breakout region you should add the rest of the 30% on the retest area now uh, keeping this in mind your stop loss should ideally be around 5 to 7% or 5 to 10% based upon your risk capacity and should be the nearest swing or a moving average that you can see in the chart so in this case the ideal stop loss should be arrived at around this area because this was a previously a smaller support uh, it took a small support here and now it is trying to take a resistance as it has now broken out of the same so this was one case where there was a clear sign of breakout failure and one more example to explain you is of elcon engineering when where the breakout has happened on huge volumes after the price consolidation even though everything was perfect still the breakout failed after uh, afterwards and hence our stop loss was hit one can also re-enter a uh, a stock again whenever a stock is again moving out of a breakout area so this is the thing that you should consider uh, keep the stock definitely will pull back to the support area and try to take a support but that is not a sign 100% whether the stock is going to move up after that always try to keep stop loss within 5 to 8% of area so that your losses are not uh, exceeding your uh, profit percentages because generally as a retail investor we generally try to book profits at around 15 to 20 percent and most of the people try to book profits at 10 percent only so the risk to reward ratio should always be managed in terms of a breakout trading because the win ratio is less than 50 percent that means more than 50 percent of the breakout will always fail and give you losses hence if you don't follow a risk to reward ratio of more than 1 is to 2 then you are not able to make profits in this trade because uh, whenever you are trying to make money you are only gaining 10 rupees and whenever you are make, uh, losing money you are losing 8 rupees so after 10 trades you will be uh, not at a good profit or at a loss only most of the times and hence it is advised to use a risk to reward ratio of 1 is to 2 breakout failure is a common thing and hence risk has to be managed perfectly your entry should be proper and not a stock should not be extended uh, before taking an entry so that you don't have an excessive risk into that particular stock so the target should be at around 15 to 20 percent whenever your risk is 8 to 10 percent you can reduce this risk by entering at correct buy points and using alert system of zeroda or of your own broker uh, by entering into the breakout prices of particular stocks uh, risk to reward of 1 is to 2 is great with 50% win ratio and book try to book uh, profits partially whenever your targets are hitting and move your stop loss to cost and trade for a bigger target. So this is how you can uh, enter into breakouts and this was just a small video on breakout trading. If you like the video please uh, share it with your friends.